Hey everyone. So it's been a while. It's been a long while and um, sorry for that. Um, I'm planning to ramp things up again with uh, with some videos around upcoming products of uh, Red Hat and um, some more in-depth videos on what we already have. Um, but today to get things started again, I want to do a short video on Cockpit. Um, Cockpit is, is an awesome web UI that helps you do stuff with ease and helps people that are not familiar with Linux to be productive in no time. So um, let's just go to a machine that I installed before. Uh, let, me, let me show you real quick. I have this Cockpit demo machine here. Um, I just installed it a couple of minutes ago. It has nothing run on, running on it right now and um, we're going to install Cockpit. So let's switch over to the terminal here. I'm going to run yum yes install cockpit and there we go. Okay, that was easy. Now the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we can actually uh, reach the cockpit UI through the uh, firewall that is uh, by default enabled on this system. So I'll go run the firewall cmd add service uh, is equals cockpit and let's make sure that this is also available after a reboot there we go and finally we need to make sure that this um, service or the socket that makes the service run is actually enabled so we'll go systemctl enable now and then we'll pass it the name of the socket well, let's, let's just do like this there we go so that should be enough now this is um, going to make the cockpit service um, available over port 9090, but the moment I go to port 9090 on this machine um, over HTTPS right now, um, what I'll encounter is that annoying message that the SSL certificate that is um, available to cockpit is not trusted, which is really, really annoying. And um, I want to prevent that. So I want to set up cockpit with an actual nice SSL certificate. And that's what we're going to do next. Now I have in my network uh, a nice IDM server installed, which you should try definitely to do in your network as well. Um, all of my systems are members of that IDM realm. Um, all of my machines have correct SSL certificates as you can see in the satellite UI over here. So there's a nice green, um, green um, um, what is it, padlock symbol over there. So that makes it um, for me really, really nice to, to work with this. Um, my workstation, the browsers on my workstation, they accept that CA that, that's, that I created in IDM. So I want my cockpit um, web UIs to use that um, chain of SSL certificates, that CA, to um, provide me uh, with a secure connection to the cockpit UI. Now let's check before we start off what um, certificate cockpit would be using if we would open the web UI right now. So we run remote CDL certificate. And it tells us, oh, there's a self-signed certificate there. And I definitely don't want to use that because um, that's going to make me accept a million um, exceptions when I open those UIs in my browser. And I don't want that. Now, be, uh, be mindful, though. Um, I want to quickly give you a, a short message in between. Um, if you um, don't use Cockpit, it's not actually running. That's what the socket, for, the socket is for over there. And if you haven't used the Cockpit UI for a couple of minutes, it's going to shut itself down. So this is not consuming any resources. It's just a very useful tool to have um, lying around. Now let's move on. So let's create that certificate we need for Cockpit. Now there is one unfortunate thing here. Um, the IP get cert request um, command I want to use to create my new certificate can I can't actually write into the directory where cockpit wants to have the certificate because of SE Linux. So for just for the duration of the creation of the certificates, I am going to 740 so that afterwards uh, we can turn it back on uh, when everything is done and created. Anyhow, so we're going to create the um, the certificate, the certificate request by running this command. Um, what this does is it's going to request a certificate with my um, IDM server. This is where I'm going to store my actual certificate. This is the private key that belongs to that certificate. I'm going to pass it the host name of the system I'm working with. I'm going to pass it a special command to take the certificate file and the key file and concatenate them into a file that the cockpit can use. And I'm going to pass the command in the principle, the host principle that goes with this system. So I'm going to run this command. There we go. So we have a signing request added. Uh, let's see if we can see this one. It's monitoring. So this key has been signed and everything is all right. 
uh, we should be able to go into the cockpit WS cert directory now and it should be there and actually it is there so we have um, the 50 from Certmonger um, certificate. Um, let's see, that is actually pretty much okay. So let's make sure that Cockpit can actually read this. Let's um, chmod is 640 and um, let's chone it to uh, Cockpit WS. So everything should be okay there. Okay, so let's set and force back to one. And now we should be able to go into the UI and actually log in to Cockpit. So let's do it. Let's switch back over to my browser. There we go. I'm gonna open that, basically that host over there. I'm gonna add a new tab, HTTPS. There we go, 1990. Bam, no. Look at that sweet green padlock icon over there. That's nice, right? I love that. No warnings, no messages, nothing. Just me and my server ready to log in. So I'm gonna log in with my, uh, my, with my own uh, user account not with root because this server was automatically joined to IDM through its deployment through uh, satellite 6.4 which is awesome as well I'm just gonna click login and there we go we're in cockpit actually we see the, the message of the day here that is set by satellite as um, in, in slash Etsy um, MOTD we get all of the nice graphs on the performance of my system um, we can actually see that the performance profile is correct it's a virtual guest that is absolutely right we can see logs uh, we can see some information on networking and uh, network throughput. We can see all the accounts that exi exist on this system, which is um, on this specific system only one because everything else is um, coming from IDM. We can stop um, st stop services, um, stop services, restart services, all that kind of stuff. We can get diagnostic reports. We can configure KDump, which I don't have running in this specific VM. We can um, configure SE Linux. We can configure all the subscriptions that are um, supposed to be um, attached to this um, system, which is um, obviously already done by hooking it up to uh, Satellite 6. And we can actually log into the system through a web-based terminal. And um, I actually have a ticket, which is pretty sweet. So there we go. That was Cockpit 101, or at least Cockpit SSL um, Configuration 101. I um, hope this was useful. Um, as always, um, I would be happy to see you next time. Uh, let's um, put the right background in there. Um, I would be happy to um, talk to you again soon. Um, please do uh, subscribe to both the YouTube channel, 100 Things uh, to Do with Red Hat Management Products. Check out the blog at 100things.wizard.com and follow me on Twitter at, at MoxieMurkout. And I'll talk to you guys in a uh, hopefully a, a lot shorter while than it has been since the last time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.